use smart objects to create product mocks that I can reuse over and over um, very easily. The, the first initial time you when, when you're creating the mock is the difficult part, but then after that, um, smart objects make it so easy for you to, to recreate that mock over and over within just a few seconds. So what I have here is a stock photo that I've purchased. And I want to put my designs on the dog bowl. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, use the clone mask tool or the clone stamp tool and select a white area of my bowl and um, kind of cover up this paw. And then I use my um, healing brush tool which kind of blends it and smooths it out. You select a smooth area of the bowl and it kind of imitates that um, that surface so um, it kind of blends in nicely. And then once you're happy with it, it, it looks pretty good there to me so I'm gonna go on. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is select the area of the bowl that I want to put my art on. And there's lots of different ways you can select it. You can use your, you know, this tool and try to get it. A lot of times it can get tricky. See, it's picking up some of the wood when I use this one. So what I end up using a lot of times is my pen tool. And I just draw using curves and lines. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, around the edge of the bowl. I'm going to adjust this. To fit better. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm just adjusting it to fit. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now if I go into my paths, there's a work path that's that shape and I hold down command and click on it and that selects that path area. So I'm going to save that selection. Go to select, save selection. There we go. So when you do save selection, this pops up and I'm naming it art area. Okay, so I can deselect that. Now I'm going to go and take the art that I want to use and I've just guessed, um, which is what I usually do, you know what the flattened area that of on this um, mock what this area right here will look like flattened about for the size so I'm copying that art and I'm gonna paste it in here and then the first thing you want to do when you drop the art in is convert it to a smart object so if you can control click on that layer convert to smart object. I think you can also go this way with the little down arrow, convert to smart object. Yep. It's really important that the first thing you do after you paste the art is convert it to a smart object. And then I'm going to transform it down to about what looks like the right flat size for that area. And then the next thing you do, and this is the hard part, and not all mocks are this difficult, but I wanted to show you one that's a little more, you know, challenging because it shows why the smart objects are so cool because you only have to do the challenging thing one time. It saves you a lot of time. So I'm going to edit, transform, and warp. I want to warp this art to fit on the bowl. And I usually start with the corners and I go a little bit outside of the corners. And each corner has wings that go in each direction, and that kind of helps you guide um, the direction of the art. 
And using the warp tool is kind of crazy at first, but I promise if you play around with it, you'll get the hang of it and um, it's not that bad. Okay, so now you can also pull on the edges. So I'm pulling edges and playing with these wings to get it to cover the area I need it to. Um, and then you can also grab sections in the middle because it looks kind of distorted. It doesn't look right. So I'm grabbing it and pulling it in directions that I want it to go. And these lines I kind of want to be straight to look like perspective lines. So you can pull the lines around until they look like they should in perspective. So if you imagine that you're working with a perspective drawing, that help, usually helps me. I think I just accidentally undid a lot of my work. And this is, I'm not going to lie, this is not my favorite thing to do, but you'll see why um, it makes using the smart objects so cool. I think that looks pretty good. So then when you're done, you can just hit return or enter. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is take that select, the selection I saved, and do load selection. And this will pop up. And then you just go and, and select whatever you named it. I named it art area. And then I'm going to add a um, clipping mask, which is this right here. And it basically clips it to fit right on that bowl. And then all I need to do is set that layer to multiply. And then it multiplies it so that it looks realistic. All the shadows underneath are there. Actually, I think I want to adjust my my clipping mask, which is right here. You can just click on it. Instead of having the layer selected, you want the clipping mask selected. And I want to add back in some of the bowl that I missed right here. So I'm just selecting that area, and then um, I'm going into the clipping mask by clicking on it and clicking Alt, and then um, Edit Fill with White. And there it kind of got all the way to the edge. Okay, so now I have my um, digital mock of my art on a dog bowl, which is cool. But then say I want to do a mock with different art on the same dog bowl. Um, that whole thing took me quite a bit of time. Um, and you it's frustrating to have to do that over and over again. So the cool thing about the fact that I made it a smart object is this. All I need to do is have art that is the same size as this art, which I have here. I've dropped in this art that's the to the exact same dimensions that I started with. And I'm going to copy that art, go into this smart object um, mock that I've created, double click on the smart object. It opens up. I'm going to paste my new art right there on top. I can delete the old art to keep the file small. I save this. It takes a little bit of time. And then, then I'm going to go back to my mock and it's already done all of the work for me. It's, you know, warped the layer. It like blends in nicely and it's perfect to go. So literally you can the setup takes a long time to do the mock the first time, but then after that, it is literally seconds. So from now on, if I ever want to mock up art on this dog bowl, it's going to take me, you know, five seconds to do it each time. And that is why smart objects are amazing. I hope this is helpful to you. Thanks. Thanks.